Yo, what's going on guys? It's Generous here today. And as you can tell from the chat and thumbnail, we're going to be building this thing right in front of us. The medieval medium house today. We did do the medieval small house not long ago. Now today we're going to do the medieval medium house. Which to be fair guys, this build is dead easy. It's cheap. And honestly, it's great if it's a kind of a starter house. So how you got the small house, you can kind of upgrade that small house to make this house. Which is a little bit bigger and a little bit better. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find a spot to build this. And I'll be back with it in just a second. Right, I've decided I'm going to build this just behind the medieval bridges here and next to the medieval wall. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the framework first, then we'll do the walls, roof, and then all the excess stuff at the end. So what we'll do is we'll start off, let's say, there. We're going to go one, two, three, place one log. One, two, three, place a log. Leave a gap of three, place a log. Leave a gap of three, place a log. Leave a gap of three, place a log. And you've got to kind of mirror this going right the way around. So you can kind of do it, once you've done one side, you can just kind of look from the other side and just follow like a line that goes down with it. So we've got this shape so far, okay. What we're going to do, we're going to take these up an extra three, so one, two, three. So we've got four high logs like so. Do this going right the way around. Once you've done this, you can probably guess where we're going to go once you've done this, which is basically connecting them all up at the top, like so. So you're going to start connecting them all up like here, going right the way around. And we're basically going to mirror this on the top section as well so once i've done this i'll show you how to do this next section which is the upset up well the second half of the house here one two three four this time you can bring this right across like so you don't have to make these sections here go right up like that so they're facing up you don't have to do that you can if you want to but it's up to you but i just make it so it's a big square and then well it's not even a big square it's a big rectangle there we go and make a big rectangle and once you've done that you obviously can go around the middle section and add all the, the, uh, the middle pillars here going right the way around. There we go. Perfect. There we go. There we go. And there we go. And then for this roof section here, I'm going to go one, two, one, two, up two. Basically, I'm making these, these side blocks here that I'm doing these, they're just temporary blocks. You can have them as being like dirt or whatever you want. It's completely up to you. Here we go. Two, temporary two, temporary two. So we've got that shape going there, kind of like a pyramid shape, but a try oh yeah, like a triangle shape. One, two. Gonna okay, continue this going right the way up. So get to the top here. There we go. Perfect, like that. Then what we're also gonna do is get some dark oak stairs. Place dark oak stairs on the third block up but upside down, going right the way around, okay? This is obviously part of also the framework we're gonna do. There we go. Because on the outside of here we're gonna have hanging baskets. So then you're going to add two logs on top of all these, going right the way around once you've done that. Obviously facing up, so they're not going to face out like so, but facing upwards. Just so it kind of mirrors the entire pillars. There we go, perfect. Then I'm going to place a dark oak stair on top of all this. There we go. There we go, almost done. And then once you've done this, the last thing to do for the framework is just add these dark oak stairs to the bottom section of these. Here we go, perfect, perfect, almost done, there we go. That there's the framework done and dusted. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna skip over it and we'll do the walls. Right, to do the walls, as you can see, I've already gone back and added all the cobblestone to it. Which all I've done is add the cobblestone on the bottom block here and on top of these logs going across like so, going right the way around. Again, it's up to you where you want the door. I'm gonna have the door right in the centre here. You can have it here if you want, you can have it on the sides like there. Completely up to you, it's obviously optional. And once you've done that, I've just got to add a lot of cobblestone going around. I'm going to get some spruce planks. I'm going to place these right next to the spruce logs that are facing up, so these pillars. And on top of the cobblestone, but not the middle ones. I'm going to do this right the way around, going on the top and bottom. Okay, so once you're on the top and bottom, then what we're going to do is we're going to get the spruce stairs. Place them on the upper half of these upside down spruce stairs, going right in between the spruce planks. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Then glass goes, obviously, you can probably tell glass goes in between the gap or the, the gap left. There we go. Perfect, going right the way around. And I'll do this bottom section real quick as well. Obviously, going to go around placing all these planks in first. There we go. Oops, try not to misclick blocks. Still waking up today. There we go, perfect. Going right the way around, like so. Here we go, and then once you've done that, go on the outside. Best not do it on the inside, because otherwise you'll have the stairs facing inwards, which is not the best way to have it. 
There we go, one there. There we go, perfect. Oops, there we go. Almost done. Oh, that's out the air, the fans there. There we go, and then I've done that side there, yeah. And then glass can go right round the edges here, like so. There we go. And then this middle section here can have a door, but you want to face away from the house, then place the door, so it kind of adds a little bit of depth to it. There we go, and then one more here. There we go, and that there is all the walls done and dusted. Now what I'll do is I'm going to do one half of the roof now, and I'll skip over and do the other half on camera here. So we're back here in just a second. Right, to do the roof, what you want to do is you want to get some spruce planks go right across the top here on these logs. Leave a gap, and then on top of these ones, you want to place the logs, or sorry, planks going right across. And you kind of want to repeat this going right the way up to the top. And then including this top bit, as you can see I've already done it. Here, which you want to obviously fill this gap in between the two top logs with spruce planks. There we go. Once you've done that, you want to place stairs going right across like so, without obviously misplacing rocks. And you want to place them down here, like so you cover up these logs going across. There we go. And on top of these planks, again, spruce stairs. And on top of these ones, spruce stairs. So you kind of got like that a uh, bit of like a jagged feel to it going all the way up. There we go. Perfect. And then obviously, as you can probably tell, what we're going to do is we're going to place some slabs on top of all these. And if you've seen all my old tutorials, like whether done houses or anything to do like cobblestone, like that, like uh, those wells down there, the house, the stable, the shop, the barn here, or sorry, no, the, the sawmill, you can add cobblestone to the sides here where all the stairs are. And then once you've done these, what you're going to do, you're going to add cobblestone stairs again, but upside down facing inwards though, so like so. There we go, perfect. Going back to the top and leave that top one there because we're going to do something a bit different with that. There we go. And then in between all of these, you can add cobblestone blocks, like so. There we go, perfect. So you've got that shape going so far, okay? Then you're going to do, you're going to go upside down stair, regular stair, upside down stair, like that, okay? And I'll do the same on this side. So we're going to go regular stair, go all the way up where the normal stair, oh, sorry, where the spruce stairs are. Go, perfect. And on the other side as well. Then upside downstairs once you've done that. There we go, perfect. Leave the top one. Back down on the other side. There you go, cobblestone in between each one of these, going right the way up, like so. There we go, one more. Upside downstairs, regular stair, upside downstairs. So you've got that shape going for the roof there. And then for this side section here, all you want to do is just fill this in with spruce planks. And obviously I'll show you the reason in a minute because we're going to do something here in a bit. I was saying earlier we'll do like all of the excess stuff at the end. That'll be in this next part. There we go, perfect. There we go, that is the end of the roof done and dusted. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip over it and we'll do all the excess stuff now. Right, for the first part of the excess stuff what we're going to do, we're going to get some spruce leaves. And we're just going to go around the edges of these on the bottom section, just placing spruce leaves. We're going to leave the door section now because we've got something special for that section. There we go, so we're just going to go right around the entire house, like so, placing leaves, there we go, perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get some spruce, or oh, sorry, cobblestone wall, cobblestone wall here and here, dark oak fence on top of them, and then dark oak slabs going here, up, down, like so, so we've got that shape. Get some cobblestone stairs, upside downstairs goes right around the outside, in between obviously these excess logs that we placed in earlier, and it covers up these spruce logs going across. There we go, so we're going to take this right the way around, and you can probably guess where this is going to go. I'm going to put grass on top of all this, like so. Whoops, there we go, perfect. Whoop. If I can place blocks today, for some reason I should be misplacing blocks constantly. There we go, perfect. And then with this grass, so it's up to you obviously what trap door you want to use. I'm just going to use spruce because obviously it's the best one fitting for medieval, I think. But another one that you can maybe use that might work is dark oak because the other ones have like little gaps in them and you can see through it and see the dirt whereas obviously the spruce and dark oak don't uh, obviously you can't see through them there you go, perfect and on top of all this you can add bone meal but I'm just going to add the lower half grass I'm just going to add some in whether it be two, one, three and obviously it's completely up to you what you want to do I'm just going to leave it like that, that's fine with me okay then once you've done that I'm going to go back to the cobblestone stairs one's going to go here in the middle to the left, to the right and then we're going to go on the side and place one here and on the other side one there so it kind of curves inwards on top of these grass 
And basically what we literally just did there with them, we're gonna repeat up here, but this time, I would say we use tall grass on the edges here and one in the middle, like so, okay? Just so it kind of fills it up a little bit. Here we go. Same on the side, so one in the middle where the spruce log is, one to the side, on each side. Go sideways, one in, sideways, one in. Grass on top of all this. Obviously the trap door of your choice, obviously I'm gonna use spruce like I said before. Here we go. Uh, low grass here, low grass there, tall grass, tall grass, tall grass. But that there, ladies and gentlemen, is the entire medium house done and dusted. If you guys have enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn the notification bell down below, and I'll catch you guys in my next episode. See ya!